I'm reviewing seven different mind mapping solutions. Today, day seven, I'm reviewing MindMeister. Sit so back, relax, let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Kevin here, and I'm talking today about MindMeister. I want to talk to you about a couple things that I like about it, what I don't like, and I want to give you an overall impression, okay? So let's get into it, and let's first of all talk about what you get from MindMeister. It's decent because there's different options available. As you can see by the chart, there's a free option. You only get three maps that way, but at least you can go in and you can try and get some sort of feel for what MindMeister is all about. There's a personal account, costs you about $5 a month, unlimited maps, but only you, so no collaboration on this at all. The pro version, which is the one they try and sell you to, 10 bucks a month, and it allows groups and also allows branding, so you can put your own name, your company name, or your logo on top of whatever you're working on. The business option is $15 a month. Now, what it does, or the, the neat little trick that they use to try and get you to upgrade to the $15 a month version, is that you can invite people. If someone has a free version of MindMeister, you can invite them. They can share in one of the maps that you're working on, and it doesn't cost them one of their three free maps. Kind of neat. And the other thing you get for the extra $5 is external backups. So there you have it, the different options you can look at with MindMeister. Let's get into it quick and I'll just tell you a bit about me to give you an idea of why I'm qualified to be telling you anything at all about my maps. I'm the owner of YourMakingMe.com and I've used my maps for the last six or seven years. I've tried plenty of versions. I've tried 10 or 15 different versions of mind mapping software and online versions and all these other good things. I have plenty of experience using my maps. So what we're going to do today is I spent a day working on this and I'm going to go through some of the things that I like about my master, some of the things I'm not a huge fan of, and I'm going to give you my overall impressions. And at the end of that, you can decide which one to do for yourself. I like the fact that my master is pretty easy to navigate. All right, it's got an intuitive interface. Things just seem to work the way they're supposed they should work. If I go in and I want to add another node, I can hit enter and I can make something new. It's fairly simple. It's, it's it works the way I would expect it to work. The properties box is pretty cool. You can click on the properties box and while you're looking at the new node, you can add in links. You can add in or notes, you can add in links, you can add files that attach to it. So as you and as you click through, you can see as I come back to the node, I can see the notes that I have laid out there. So it makes a lot of sense. And when I'm done with this, I can just go ahead and put it back off to the side where if it's not being used or if I don't need it right away. That's a neat feature. It's good also that it's got real-time collaboration. So I can be working on this with you and making me going back and forth and making me seeing the changes that are being made. I like the fact that it's easy to drag and drop this map. Left-clicking works. Right-clicking can drag and drop. The center scroll button, I can drag and drop it. So it makes sense. I can, I can really, whatever I click, it's going to drag and drop, so it's going to work for me. There's also a presentations view. It's a little bit like Prezi where you can... You can set it up so it'll follow along with your presentation and it'll run it's kind of in the background so that you don't have to go and click on things manually as you progress through your presentation. So a neat idea with that. It's got SMS and Twitter alerts. That's a nice idea. You can also choose a map to set as your main map. This means when you open the program up, it's going to go to your main map. You don't have to sit there opening files all the time. If, if, you're, if there's a map you use all the time, it's going to go right to that. A couple things that I'm maybe not a fan of. Let's go over here, have a quick look. One thing I didn't like was that you can't start a trial without entering your billing information. And I don't get that. That's that's lame sauce. It really is. Now, I know they're trying to sell stuff and hey, good for them for, for me trying to make a profit because I understand that as well. I, I appreciate them working hard and making money with whatever they do. I guess what I'm saying is I'd rather just be able to go in and try something and see if it works for me than have to go and open the free account and maybe not find what I'm looking for and obviously I know they're trying to sell and if, if you enter your billing information, there's a better chance they're going to get the sale later on. So, hey, if, if that's the way they want to play it, hey, good for them. Hope they do well. Uh, not, I wasn't a fan of that. Another thing I don't like, and I, I don't know, maybe there's a way that I can do it, but I couldn't figure it out in, in the one day that I was working with it, was, I don't know, is there a way that I can collapse all the other nodes or do I have to go in and, and manually start opening and collapsing and opening things? I'm not sure. In any case, I'm not a big fan of that. There's no way for me to go in and try and as a big master, close, open and close everything. For me, the price seemed a little bit high compared to some of the other options. And I'm looking at things like Mine42, which is a, a similar type of, of program where it may cost you 20 euros to get rid of the ads forever. But, you know, it's very nice. It, it works nicely. It's a web-based interface. I like it a lot. I really, really like MindMeister. And they've done a good job. they got this whole 
system set up where they got all these affiliates all over. So you've you've no doubt heard a lot about MindMeister over the internet. The other drawback that I'm not really a fan of is that I think it might be just a little bit too streamlined. I, I like having that middle ground where there's some programs like MindJet where it's got everything. It's got 8 million options. And there's other options where there's just not quite enough. And I'm just... It's close, but I, th I think there's a few options that might be missing on this. Few things that I would just love to see added, just to bolster the strength of the my of my master. It's a little bit more, but overall, it's very functional. It collaborates well, and it's it's a fairly strong program. Overall, looking at my master, it's very easy to use. If you don't know anything about my maps, if you don't know how to use them, you can sit down on the computer, and within a couple minutes, you're off and running. You, you'll you'll figure it out fairly easily. It looks okay. You know, it's decent. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's not the ugliest thing. So, you know, I'm okay with that. It's got good collaboration abilities. I like the fact, again, you can use Twitter. You can get updates. So you, you know if people are making updates to this MyMap, if you've asked them to make updates. And it has a phone app, too. Overall, I liked MyMeister. It was a nice thing to use. It worked well. It was intuitive. And I was I had a fun time using it. I just, I'm not sure. This is a decision you'll have to make, is whether where the price point meets, whether you're going to get the value out of it that that you want. And if the collaboration is what you're looking for, hey, this could be exactly what you, what you need. In any case, those are my impressions after using MyMeister for an entire day.